Well, continuing on the last minute Christmas preparations, we check in with Chef Jeff Jackson from Smith's Food and Drug, the sponsors of this segment. He is sharing an apple pie recipe taken from the Kroger Making Memories Cookbook and Coloring Book. Hello, everybody. I'm Chef Jeff from Smith's. It's the holiday season. It's a great time to make memories with your family, and food is a great vehicle to do that. Now, Smith's and Kroger have given us a great tool to help us with that. It's a little cookbook slash uh, coloring book. Um, and it's got characters that you may have recognized before in the commercials, uh, but inside there are recipes for turkey and also for pie. I'm going to show you how to make that pie today. Um, super easy. I'm going to use a couple of shortcuts. And one thing I want to do is uh, it's a brown butter and cinnamon. Um, brown butter, I made this earlier. When you're browning butter, make sure to melt it slowly and then kind of wait for it to kind of foam up and you'll smell it get really nutty and start have brown bits uh, but it will burn quickly so once it gets to that point take it off of the heat that's what I have here see all those little brown bits in there as well that's perfect brown butter uh, let's get to the apples uh, I like to use Granny Smith apples and I don't peel mine you can peel yours uh, what I do is just cut them right off the core like so and then once they're off of the core then I can just slice them into my perfect thin slices leaving the skin on because I don't like that step uh, cut them thin get them in our bowl We've got our brown butter in there, so now it's the flavoring. I have some brown sugar that's going to go in there, and then some cloves, the cinnamon, cornstarch, and ginger. The cornstarch is in there to kind of help thicken it up and make it really uh, gooey like you expect a, an apple pie to be, so we'll go ahead and mix those up. Okay, they're perfect and ready to go. I'm going to take my gloves off, and then I'll show you what we're going to do with the pie crust. I don't like making pie crust, but you can buy pie crusts that are pre-made. Uh, this is a great uh, time-saving tool. You just take them out and unroll them and get your pie pan ready to go. And have it be room temperature a little bit. If you try to get them out of the package uh, without letting them sit room temperature, then they kind of break apart, and we don't want that. So we're going to press our dough in there like so. Uh, we're going to put our apples in there. And then lastly, we're going to create a lattice top. My oven is preheating to 350. Or actually, actually, it's at 425. I'm, excuse me. It's 425 oven. Um, but to make that lattice top, simply take the other pie crust and we're going to cut it into strips. Okay, so I've cut my pie dough into strips and then you just create a lattice. So it's basically over and under, over and under, and over and under. You'll get the hang of it as, as you do each one. It's pretty easy to go. And then you'll just trim the, trim the edges and it'll look, look nice and beautiful. Okay, so I form my lattice. It doesn't look perfect, but that's okay. Uh, we don't have to be professional pie makers. And then get some egg wash, which is just egg and water. Brush it on the top to help it brown. It will go in a 425 degree oven for 20 minutes. At that point, put the, the pie protector if you've got one or just put foil around the edges to prevent over browning. But then what you should have is this beautiful pie that comes out, looks beautiful. Uh, make sure to let it cool probably for about three or four hours before serving. You can find all these ingredients at your local Smiths. Uh, remember, during the holidays, it doesn't matter what you make just so you're making memories. So happy holidays, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye, bye everyone. Thank you to Smith's Food and Drug for sponsoring this segment. They have several locations across the valley. For more information, visit smithsfoodanddrug.com.